In this lecture, you are going to learn how to eliminate render blocking CSS and JavaScript files. To resolve this issue, we need to install and configure a new plugin called Above the Fold Optimization. So come to Plugins and click on Add New. Now search for Above the Fold Optimization. Install the plugin by pagespeed.pro. Once installed, click Activate. This plugin configuration involves a complex process, so you need to sit tight and follow it exactly. Before the configuration of this plugin, we need to download the entire CSS of our website, but this CSS needs to be free from any minification or catching files. So to do that, first purge all catches of W3 total catch, delete catch of auto optimize, and then deactivate auto optimize, speed booster pack, and W3 total catch plugin. Now we have got only the above the fold optimization plugin enabled. So click on settings or alternatively you can go to appearance and above the fold. Once you have entered into the above the fold optimization plugin settings, come to critical CSS, then scroll down under extract full CSS, select home page or index and then click download. This will download the full CSS of your website without any minification. Click on it to open. You can open it via a notepad. So keep it aside. Now scroll up and you can see a free version is available here. When you click on the link that is linked to this text here, it will open a critical path CSS generator, but you need to open this generator in a new incognito window. So let me copy the URL and I have opened an incognito window. You can open this by going to new incognito window or by pressing Ctrl Shift N. Let me paste the critical path CSS generator URL. Now you need to enter the home page of your website here, including the HTTP or HTTPS. After entering this, you need to copy the full CSS of your website and paste it here. So let me select the entire full CSS of my website. And paste it here. Now click Create Critical Path CSS. Copy this and paste it in the Critical Path CSS box. Now click Save. Now go to Plugins page, activate Auto Optimize. Speed Booster Pack and W3 Total Catch. Now click on Delete Catch of Auto Optimize. Purge all catches of W3 Total Catch and then refresh your website to check whether it works correctly. Here you need to check mainly the styling options that is whether the CSS works correctly. Now let's check the page speed inside score and the page loading time. This is our page speed score before installing this above the fold optimization plugin. So let's rerun this test. Now we still got the eliminate render blocking of CSS to avoid this. Let's come back to auto optimize settings because this URL denotes the auto optimize CSS settings. Scroll down to CSS options and disable 
aggregate inline CSS. Then click save changes and empty catch. Now refresh our website once. Let's rerun this page speed insights. Even after configuring our auto optimize, we still get this eliminate render blocking of JavaScript and CSS, but mainly an individual CSS file is causing this issue. So let's correct this by configuring above the fold optimization plugin. So let's come back to above the fold optimization, come to CSS tab, click optimize CSS delivery. Click enhanced load CSS and leave the position to header, then click save. Now let's refresh our website. See the score has got increased to 97, but let's check it officially with page speed insights. Let's analyze our website again. You can see that the eliminate render blocking issue has got shifted from CSS to JavaScript. So let's rectify this too by configuring the same plugin that is above the fold optimization. Come to proxy tab, enable proxy scripts, click save, then come to JavaScript and enable optimized JavaScript loading. Also change the script loader to little loader plus HTML5 web worker. Leave the force async option to enabled. Also jQuery stub to enabled. Then click save. Now clear auto optimize catch and WP total catch all catches. Let's refresh our website and it works flawlessly. So let's test it with page speed insights. Now page speed insights gives me an error that is though our website loads from our browser, a tool that is hosted on a different part of the world couldn't load our website. So let's recheck or disable some options like force async and jQuery stub. Let's click save. Now check our website. Even now we haven't got any score near this performance. So we need to change the position to footer. Click save and recheck. Even this doesn't work. So altogether let's change to little loader from Walmart labs. Change it to header. Click save and recheck. So now we have got 100 out of 100. So the main issue was this little loader plus HTML5 web worker. When we switch to little loader from Walmart labs, this script loader made our website to work correctly. I could have cut this part of this lecture and I could have given you directly the correct method of choosing this little loader from Walmart labs, but I didn't want to do that because I wanted you to know how to troubleshoot when you face issues like this. So let's do the page speed analysis officially. All the issues have gone like eliminate render blocking, leverage page catching, etc, etc, etc. Now the only issue is reduce server response time. Don't worry about the reduction in page speed score. This is because I am using a shared hosting. Since I am retesting, retesting, reloading the pages, running multiple speed tests, my website is made to load from different locations. Due to the sudden surge of traffic or sudden increase in load, the server might have throttled the speed of my website. So if I do this page speed test 
after some 5 to 10 minutes then even this server response time will reduce below 200 milliseconds and my score will become 100 out of 100 because you could see the performance score as 100 out of 100 based on this Google API. If you want, let me show it here. That is, we need to go to dashboard of this W3 total catch. Scroll down and you can see the page speed report. Here, reduce server response time has got a tick mark. Let's view all the results. See, my server responded in 0.23 seconds or it's just 230 milliseconds. Once it comes down below 200, then the score will pile up to 100 out of 100. This result was shown in the first lecture of this section. So now let's do the page loading time test too. Last time we have got 688 milliseconds before installing this above the fold optimization plugin. Now let's see how much it is. See, after configuring this above the fold optimization plugin, our page loading time has got reduced from 680 something milliseconds to around 500 milliseconds. That's equal to 0.5 seconds. As said before, if I leave the website to rest for another 10 minutes, then this load time will reduce further as the response time will reduce further. Although I have continued with the web page test and I have got the same 1.8 seconds repeat view load time which I showed to you in the first lecture of this section.